The skeletal remains of Kennewick Man, a prehistoric Paleo-Native American dating back approximately 8,360 years, were discovered on the banks of the Columbia River in southeastern Washington. Known as the Ancient One, his robust and muscular build suggests he was a skilled hunter, adept at flint napping and using an otlatl to throw spears. Kennewick Man endured significant injuries, including a spear wound to his hip and multiple rib fractures, indicating he was cared for by his community after being wounded in what might have been a violent encounter with another group. Located about 300 miles from the mouth of the Columbia River, the discovery site near the confluence of the Snake and Columbia Rivers likely served as a crucial waterway in ancient times, facilitating movement and trade among early Native American tribes. This strategic location underscores the importance of the area as a hub for cultural and economic exchanges, allowing diverse groups to interact, share technologies, and sustain their communities through abundant natural resources. The Columbia River, often referred to as a water highway, would have been vital for transportation, fishing, and communication, enabling the spread of ideas and goods across vast distances. The burial site of Kennewick Man, thoughtfully positioned with his head facing upstream and his body aligned parallel to the river, reflects the deep respect and sophisticated social structures of his people. Such burial practices highlight the spiritual and communal values that governed ancient Native American societies, emphasizing the interconnectedness between individuals and their environment. These practices are echoed in the traditions of modern indigenous communities who continue to honor their ancestors through ceremonial rites and the preservation of sacred sites. The intentional burial, rather than a result of natural sedimentation, suggests that Kennewick Man held a significant status within his community, possibly as a leader or a revered storyteller whose experiences and knowledge were highly valued. DNA analysis revealed that Kennewick Man was fully Native American, closely related to ancient populations along the west coast of the Americas, debunking earlier speculations of Polynesian or Ainu ancestry. This genetic connection provides valuable insights into the migration patterns and genetic diversity of early Native American populations, illustrating a complex history of movement and adaptation across the continent. Understanding these connections helps modern Native communities reclaim their heritage and fosters a deeper appreciation for their ancestral resilience and ingenuity. The genetic evidence aligns with archaeological findings suggesting that Kennewick Man was part of a broader network of coastal communities that thrived by exploiting the rich marine and terrestrial resources available to them. Kennewick Man's legacy extends beyond his physical remains. It serves as a testament to the enduring spirit and rich cultural heritage of indigenous peoples in North America. His story sheds light on the lives and struggles of early Native Americans, highlighting their sophisticated hunting techniques, social organization, and ability to thrive in diverse and challenging environments. The resilience demonstrated by Kennewick Man and his community in the face of adversity continues to inspire and inform contemporary discussions about indigenous rights, historical recognition, and the preservation of cultural heritage. His injuries, particularly the spear wound, not only tell a story of personal survival, but also hint at the broader social dynamics including conflict and cooperation among different groups. Moreover, the discovery of Kennewick Man has sparked important conversations about the ethical considerations in archaeology and the treatment of ancient human remains. Legal battles and collaborative efforts between scientists and native tribes have paved the way for more respectful and inclusive approaches to studying and preserving indigenous history. These efforts ensure that the voices and perspectives of Native communities are integral to the interpretation and stewardship of their ancestral legacy. The case of Kennewick Man has set precedence for how modern societies handle the intersection of scientific inquiry and cultural respect, emphasizing the need for sensitivity and collaboration in uncovering the past. In addition to his physical attributes and injuries, Kennewick Man's lifestyle offers a glimpse into the daily lives of his people. His diet, which included large game animals such as deer, pronghorn, antelope, and bighorn sheep, 
as well as salmon and marine mammals, indicates a versatile and well-adapted subsistence strategy. The dependence on glacial meltwater for drinking aligns with the environmental conditions of his time, reflecting a deep understanding of and adaptation to the local ecosystem. The physical evidence of frequent immersion in cold water, such as bone growths consistent with surfer's ear, suggests that Kennewick man spent considerable time in river rapids, possibly hunting or fishing in shallow waters. The sophisticated tool-making skills inferred from his bone structures, particularly in his hands and arms, indicate that Kennewick man was not only a proficient hunter, but also an artisan who crafted tools essential for survival. The techniques used in flint napping and spear throwing demonstrate a high level of dexterity and knowledge of materials, underscoring the advanced technological capabilities of his society. These skills would have been crucial for providing food, protection, and tools necessary for daily life, highlighting the interconnectedness of technology, survival, and social structure in ancient Native American communities. Kennewick Mann's story is also a window into the broader cultural and social dynamics of his time. The severe blow to his chest and the embedded spear point suggest that he may have been involved in conflicts or encounters that required defense or aggression, reflecting the complex social interactions among different groups. These interactions could have included competition for resources, territorial disputes, or alliances formed through trade and mutual aid. The fact that he survived such injuries speaks to the strength and support systems within his community, emphasizing the role of collective care and cooperation in ensuring individual survival and the continuity of the group. Furthermore, the discovery of Kennewick Man has had significant implications for our understanding of early human migration and settlement patterns in North America. His presence in the Columbia River region supports theories that suggest early populations moved along coastal roads, utilizing river systems as pathways for expansion and exploration. This challenges earlier models that primarily emphasized inland migration routes, highlighting the importance of coastal and riverine environments in the peopling of the Americas. The rich archaeological record in these areas provides a deeper understanding of how early Native Americans adapted to diverse landscapes and climatic conditions, demonstrating their ingenuity and resilience. The technological advancements evident in Kennewick man's tools and weaponry also shed light on the cognitive and cultural development of his society. The precision of his flint napping skills and the effective use of the outlaw reflect a sophisticated understanding of material properties and projectile mechanics. These technologies not only enhanced hunting efficiency, but also played a role in social and cultural practices, such as warfare, trade, and the transmission of knowledge. The ability to craft and utilize such tools indicates a high degree of specialization and the potential existence of social hierarchies or roles within his community. Kennewick Mann's physical adaptations also provide valuable information about the environmental conditions of his time. The signs of surfer's ear and frequent immersion in cold water suggest that his community engaged in activities that required regular interaction with the river environment. This interaction likely influenced their social structures, subsistence strategies, and cultural practices. The ability to thrive in such conditions speaks to the adaptability and resourcefulness of early Native American societies which were able to exploit a wide range of ecological niches to support their populations. The story of Kennewick Man also intersects with broader themes in anthropology and the study of human history. His remains offer a unique opportunity to explore questions about identity, ancestry, and the continuity of indigenous cultures. By examining his osteobiography, the narrative told by his bones, researchers can piece together not only his personal history, but also the collective history of his people. This interdisciplinary approach, combining archaeology, genetics, and anthropology, provides a more holistic understanding of the past and its connections to the present. In essence, Kennewick Mann's story is not only a window into the distant past, but also a bridge connecting ancient wisdom with modern identity. His life, marked by skill, injury, and community care, 
embodies the values of resilience and interconnectedness that continue to define Native American cultures today. As researchers continue to uncover more about his life and times, Kennewick Man remains a powerful symbol of the unbroken spirit and enduring legacy of indigenous peoples across North America. His legacy encouraged a deeper understanding and respect for the rich histories and cultures that have shaped the continent long before modern nations were established, reminding us of the profound connections between people, their environments, and their enduring traditions. Moreover, the ongoing study of Kennewick Man contributes to contemporary discussions about heritage preservation and the rights of indigenous peoples to their ancestral remains. The debates surrounding his discovery have highlighted the importance of involving native communities in archaeological research and decision-making processes. This shift towards more inclusive and respectful practices ensures that the study of ancient remains like Kennewick Man is conducted in a manner that honors the cultural and spiritual beliefs of indigenous peoples. Fostering mutual respect and collaboration between scientists and native communities, Kennewick Man's discovery also plays a crucial role in educating the public about the complexity and richness of Native American history. By bringing to light the advanced skills, social structures, and resilience of early Native American societies, his story challenges stereotypes and misconceptions about indigenous peoples. It underscores the fact that Native Americans have a long and sophisticated history that predates European contact, highlighting their contributions to the cultural and technological development of the continent. This educational aspect is vital for fostering a more accurate and respectful understanding of Native American heritage among the broader population. In conclusion, the tale of Kennewick Man is a multifaceted narrative that encompasses aspects of archaeology, genetics, anthropology, and indigenous studies. His remains provide a tangible connection to a distant past, offering insights into the lives of early Native Americans and their enduring legacy. The story of Kennewick Man is one of survival, community, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. As research continues and new discoveries are made, Kennewick Man will undoubtedly remain a central figure in the ongoing exploration of our shared human history, symbolizing the resilience and continuity of Native American cultures through the ages.